Dr. Franklin and us, we connected how long ago? Uh, six months ago. About six, six months, months ago. ago. Yeah. And he has just been uh, an incredible supporter of the Think Tank for Moms. We were actually at one of his events uh, the week prior. Monday night. Uh, Monday night. And he, ha he was talking about... Um, what is the HCT? HCG. HCG diet. Which I had heard of before, and I was glad that I went to your workshop mm -hmm. and learned even more about it because I think people are kind of missing, mm -hmm. you know, the information and the ed education that they need. That's a lot of. Work. And I heard a lot about the drops. Uh -huh. uh, the next day, a friend came in and told me about it, and I was able to say, "No, that's not going to work long term. You need to talk to Dr. Franklin, <laughs> which I would not have known before." <laughs> Well, we're happy to have him with us uh, tonight, and he's going to really um, just, you know, you can delve in and tell everybody just a little bit about your business, what sure. you do, where you're located, sure. how can we they find you, etc. Okay. Go ahead. So we're in uh, Manasquan, and uh, thank you ladies for uh, having me tonight. Uh, it should be a fun and eventful evening. The, uh, the, t the talk I'm, have, I'm doing is... Uh, staying fabulous, just in honor of Vanessa with her wonderful books. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and um, you know, basically, what my business, my business is in Manasquan. I run a practice which is um, what we call functional medicine. So, what we try to do instead of kind of like waiting for you to get sick, waiting for you not to feel well, is kind of look kind of deep into what's really going on, whether your hormones, your metabolism, all Wait till he hears my story by the end of the night. Yeah. And we kind of, instead of, instead of waiting and saying, going to your doctor, and a lot of times they'll say, you're fine, you're fine, then all of a sudden you have a problem, you know, five I years know. later, you know, <laughs> we try to look for those markers, so I do extensive testing, we kind of, all my visits are about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, you'll see I like to talk a lot, you know, so when you're in my office, that's kind of the way it is, but uh, we kind of look very deeply, and, and what I specifically, you know, uh, talk with, with women is their hormones are something that's really something that's important. Uh, as most doctors don't put pay enough attention to it because of the fact that they don't know a lot about it. When we were in medical school, they didn't teach us anything about women's hormones, so you have to go kind of Just deeper. To be of it. Right, exactly, exactly, and that's and that's part of the problem. So. You know, I went through a three-year fellowship after, you know, I did, did my ER, and I've been doing emergency medicine for many years, but um, I went, yeah, I've been in the emergency room for many years, and I saw so many, you know, both men and women, you know, coming in with longer and longer medication lists, and they were sicker and sicker, so, you know, I said that, you know, there's something that's not right about this, if they're so taking it, all this uh, medicine. So is it alternative medicine? It's, it is, is the same type of. A, well, I mean, it's it's. I guess you could call it holistic medicine. I mean, okay. I I do work, you know, with conventional medicine as well. You know, if people need, you know, medication, I'm not against medication. I work. I still work in the emergency room, so I work with conventional medicine every day. Okay. But the thing is, is that there's a bridge that needs to be, you know, made because of the fact that a lot of people um, have problems that they could have prevented, you know, years prior, and so that's what. I kind of look for. And then there's a lot of problems that are present that no one's addressing, and they're just being thrown medications just to kind of get rid of the symptoms. One of the things I see a lot is women, even in their late 30s, early 40s, they start having you know, symptoms of depression, you know, kind of low mood. And what it really a lot of times is, is that progesterone, you know, and I'm going to talk a lot about tonight, estrogen and progesterone. And it's not a scary thing, it's something that's natural to your body starts going down, and when that does, that causes your mood to start to decrease. Yeah. And a lot of times the uh, conventional doctors will say, here's an antidepressant. Now, the interesting thing about those antidepressants are that they actually lower your progesterone even, even more. more. So, so then you're really, so, 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 you're, really so, you're gaining, <laughs> so you're gaining weight, you're, you're feeling worse, and you don't know why, you're and, you're, more and you feel like, what you know, there's no one helping me, and, yeah. you know, and so that's kind of, look, you know, what are so our, as older uh, women go into menopause and different things like that, mm -hmm. obviously the early 40s until later 40s, progesterone is even less. So I'm sure you deal with a lot of women Correct. in and, that age group as well. Correct. And then, of course, after menopause, you know, what I always say is that, you know, women don't realize is that they have hormones after menopause. And sometimes these hormones are actually more, you know, detrimental if they don't get them adjusted properly. Okay. Um, you have women, even after they had a hysterectomy, they have no ovaries, women come to me and say, ah, oh, doc, I have no hormones. Not true, you actually make a lot of hormones from your belly fat, and estrogen specifically. And what I'm gonna talk about is there are a few different types of estrogen. 
some estrogen are more prone to developing breast cancer wow. than others, and the one the estrogen that's produced from belly fat actually does okay. you know produce more you know problems. And the other problem is, is that progesterone you know you barely have any progesterone, and so you need that balance. So you know when women ask me. Is, is it you know safe? Is it, is it going to cause cancer? Well, my answer to them is that if you do it correctly, you actually will lower your risk of developing cancer because if you don't have that balance, which you don't as you get older and postmenopausal, you're, you're not being naturally protected. Okay. And then I'm going to talk about the two different types of hormones, you know, the synthetic hormones, which are bad, you know, the pill and all that, and, yeah. and all that, yeah, you I know. I remember my mother taking that back right. when, and then everybody saying how bad that was for you. I, I keep thinking, you know, as you're talking, and it's one of the things that I, of course, love about our group, and, mm -hmm. and one of the things that we look out to do for the women that who come is that, you know, being healthy mm -hmm. is is is. It's important. It's right. like the, you can't show up to your business if sure. you're not in good health. Absolutely. So I think that one of the things that we address, you know, not just as a, as a women's group and a business networking group, is that, you know, delving deeper into what, um, how we can just show up as our best selves, you know, not just uh, in, in a professional environment, but in, in our personal environment, you know, and our, you mentioned the, our emotional health. Which is, you know, because I, I bet you, even I'm sitting here wondering, oh my God, maybe that's why I've been feeling so blue. Like, I've been, you know, we've been talking about right. it. Um, maybe that's why, I, you know, and I don't, I, I'm not, you know, I don't tend to take a pill. I would rather find an alternative sure. as opposed to just get uh, some sort of medication. So I'm happy to know that you actually take into those, you know, the whole, you see the whole, the the whole, whole spectrum. Story. Correct. And then diagnose, as opposed to you're feeling this, so here you go. Right. Well, you um, just said something tonight, because Vanessa and I have been talking about this the last couple of days because of a personal situation with myself, mm -hmm. and I had a great doctor who moved away, mm -hmm. and I don't get sick a lot, so I haven't gone for a long time, and I just started going again. Right. And do doctors not talk to you anymore? <laughs> because <laughs> I, you know, take this well, they said you, and I'll call and come well, see me in 30 days. Days. How about you very, explain it to no, me? No, and she's like, you know, and... They're like, and they emailed you. Why would you email me and not give me a phone I'm, call? I'm just like, I just want to talk to somebody. Can somebody right. talk to me? So I'm on Google, sure. and I think I'm dying of five diseases now right. because nobody will call me. <laughs> well, we always call. Right. Well, you guys, well, you guys can always call. Well, right. you, know, you just said I spend a lot but, of time talking to my patients. Yeah. You do educational yeah. workshops, which I am a big proponent of, sure. and so is Vanessa. Yes. And you are looking at the whole picture. I don't see any doctors doing that anymore. Well, I mean, I, I think that, you know, a lot of it has to do with the healthcare in general. You know, yep. there's one part of it, you know, yeah. insurance and everything like that is, is a big but I, issue. But I honestly, no, but like, let's go to the core. And I think that, and I'm just going to go, you know, on and a limb. We've met each other on several occasions. Sure. So like we know each other. Sure. You know, we don't go out for coffee every morning. Right. But I think that... I'd love you to come to uh, it. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that you have to actually care. Right. And I think that that's what it comes down to. You have to actually care about providing the best possible alter possible alternative to your patient. Sure. And, you know, yeah, there is insurance. There's, uh, you know... But there's, I don't there's, think there's a doctor that. should be looking and saying, well, her insurance is a little crappy. Well, I'm going to call her today. My well, secretary you know, her. The thing is, The thing is, is that, like I said, you know... He, when I when I do like blood work, for instance, mm -hmm. I'll I'll have my patients come and they'll do ten get ten vials of blood, you know, because of the fact that there's I look at all, not only like is this okay, is this okay, what are the, what how is everything interacting with each exactly. other, you know, exactly. because it's important. How's your stress hormone reacting? How's your thyroid? What do you do when the results come? Well, when the results come, is we sit down for you sit down and explain it to them for about an hour, but sometimes That's an hour and a half. An hour and a half. If you've met Erin, you know, yeah. you can see my uh, my uh, nurse from Brooklyn. She yells at me all the time. She knocks on the door, says, all right, enough, we're off, you know, because <laughs> everything's backing up, you know, back then. But, uh, but I want people to understand, like, what they, the whole point is they, they everybody needs to understand about their health. Absolutely. You know? So, Absolutely. and understand the reasons why I think that certain things are more important than others. And like I said, you know, a lot of people talk about thyroid. Thyroid is another big issue in my office because a lot of people go to their doctor and they look at their tests and the tests are all within normal limits. Now, the normal limits are normal for, you know, a range of people, not for that specific person, you know. So a lot of times people have thyroid problems that they are not being addressed. And so, you know, we'll look at it and I'll say, well, look, you 
you know, you went to this endocrinologist, you went to this special, that special, they all said everything was fine, but I'm telling you everything is not fine and your symptoms, what you are telling me actually matters, you know, because of the fact that, yeah, you're not feeling right. Obviously, there's something wrong. So yeah. let's look at really what's going on. So, so we kind of, so the, the nice thing is that, that I could sit with, you know, my patients for a long time and we could talk about what they're feeling and why they're, you know, coming to me. And I can put that together with the information I have plus their information, and that way we come up with an usually come up with an answer, and, and uh, we get we pretty good success. Yeah. Well, great. That's, yeah. that's, that's awesome. really great. Where can people reach out? Well, they you? could they could uh, you know come to our, come to the website, and uh, I heard Vanessa's going to help me with my website. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So at, uh, you know www.improvehealthsolutions.com and. Um, you know, my wife, who's not here tonight, can explain. We're putting a book together, and it's actually a relationship book. Uh, because a lot of times what we found is that a lot of our patients had, you know, some issues with their relationship. And it's not really because they're not no longer, uh, you know, like each other or, you know, attracted to each other. It's because they've changed. And the fact that they don't realize they've changed, and they are kind of searching why they feel different, you know, and a lot of times they look at their partner as maybe that's the reason why they don't feel the same way that they did. Yeah. And so we're, we, this book that we, what I wrote, and I can you help you with that one too. Yeah, God, <laughs> God, God willing, you know, because we were supposed to have it out in uh, February, okay. and so, so maybe you can help. Because, uh, because, By our uh, conference <laughs> in October, we need your book. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and um, you know, so basically, what what I go over is kind of saying, you know. Women, this is my this is this is might be the reason why you're feeling the way you're feeling. That's it's awesome. not because I love that. and men, it's the same thing. Because men, you know, men do not admit that they're men do not admit as not well. The men I know. That's right, and it's very true. But a lot of times it is men. Obviously, it's all it's usually men's. The men is the problem usually. You know, but, yeah. just but, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, but the reality is is that you know because of the fact that no one's addressing it, no one's talking about. It. They go to see you know their practitioner or somebody, and they're like. You know, you're just getting old or whatever. I mean, that just that's take this drug yeah, yeah. Drug I mean, and yeah. that you know, we reject that you know idea. You know, in our office, we believe that you know you're going to live. You know, most people are living to their 80s. Why should you not live to your best? Exactly. You know, all this great. time. I mean, you should not be you know kind of like dwindling. You know, in your 50s and 60s. Yes. You know, you should, be, <laughs> you should be at your best, and you Absolutely. should. And, and we have the technology to be able to do it. We have the research. All the, all the 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 things that I do are based on you know evidence based medicine that has been done over the last few years. And you'd be shocked at the things that your doctors don't know that's in the research. Because if you go to my website, um, yeah, if you go to my website, I list a lot of you know the papers. And sometimes I'll get phone calls from cardiologists or other doctors that call me and like, what are you doing with my patient? And I'm like. Well, did you look at the last research in, you know, JAMA or New England Journal in 2013 about this, you know, this study, that study, and, you know, they'll still bristle, and I'm like, I'm going to send it to you, you know, and usually I don't get a phone call back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> commercials that talk about low testosterone right. and men, low yeah. T, they call right, it, sure. and I know people that go and then order testosterone uh -huh. from wherever they exactly, get it, exactly. but they yeah. never got a workup from a doctor, oh, so they don't even think, they so, don't even so know. So that's a lot of also my patients, too. Like, there's a lot, I mean, testosterone is really something that is, you know, low testosterone is rampant, but the problem is regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, you should never do this Without these things on your own drink. because of the fact you could actually be hurting yourself. Absolutely. When you, when that's like freaking me out. Even yeah. like thinking about uh, it. I personally, it's not doing that myself. Myself. I wouldn't allow yeah. it. There's people that I know, and it's but scary. see, because like, of the fact that, that like, oh, yeah. okay, this is yeah. going to boost my testosterone. But what people don't know is that for guys, if they don't do it right, they're going to be start producing estrogen, and all of a sudden okay. they don't feel as good. They start feeling so if different. So I see them crying in the room. Yeah, so. exactly. So. <laughs> That's oh, no. the problem, and so unless you do it correctly, and yeah. you know everything yeah. we do, we you know you come see me, three months later you'll see me again. We retest things to make sure that what we're doing is working. doing is working, doing the right stuff, and so. I love it. No, I love it. I'm so happy that you're here with us tonight. Um, 
Dr. Frankel is going to be with us at our family wellness day on April 10th from mm -hmm. 10 to 8. I know that you guys are going to be there, and uh, you know we've established a great relationship. I, I'm, I'm personally making time to go see you yeah. uh, and get tested and do because I do I suffer from depression I've always struggled with it and it's, and it's something that I've refused to get medicate like I, I refuse to go on medication for yeah. it I just have found ways to deal with it but I know that hormonally there has there's something going on there right. so I'm happy that we connected uh, yeah, we're happy to have you were you gonna say uh, end with your phrase? No phrase, no quotes today because oh, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking a lot about Dr. Frankel and what I'm going to talk to him about afterwards, but I want everybody to make sure that they are registered for the 10th. Um, it is going to be a phenomenal day. We have people who are going to be educating you and answering your questions, Dr. Frankel, and many different people regarding health and, and wellness. So we hope to see everybody there. Take care. Bye. Bye. That was good. good. <laughs> this is meaning your blood.